Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. We're already like 30 um, hours into this uh, particular save, which is like amazing. Uh, how much progress we've already gotten from uh, doing a lot of the missions and stuff like that. Um, just want to quickly get all this uh, farming done and maybe check out the farmer, see if he needs any of these resources. I uh, might be able to spare a few of them. I'm not sure. We'll we'll check them out. I think I had some in here from last episode as well, so uh, we should have plenty of resources for them. Okay, we'll see what he needs. I think we already have on it, so we can just return to him. Uh, frost crystals. Oh yeah, that will be easy enough. Okay, so we got a 944-year-old sample, so that will be good. Uh, we can actually sell a lot of that up here. Keep forgetting that I moved this up here, actually. So, contraband, let's get rid of that. Uh, and we'll sell that as well. The gravitational ball things. And let's just check to see what we can store away and what we, we need for um, crafting so we have one of these left and we have four of these left so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of that into here now this is like two days worth of uh, resources so we should have plenty of um, stuff to craft this up with so we'll craft two of those craft one of those uh, we'll need one of these and then we can craft one of those up Okay, so let's put that in here and I'll put that over here as well um, Now I'm not sure if we have enough to make yes, we do So we can actually craft two of those up today Just trying to save some resources or some space in our uh, containers, right? So, um, compacting it down as much as possible. Okay, we can sell those. Uh, we got one of those for some reason. That was that other sample that I got from last episode. We can sell that as well. And that looks like we can sell these. We can store that though. Alright, so let's go ahead and just go up here and quickly sell that stuff, and then we can start working on some of the, um, let's see here, base building, community research, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll... Thank you. 
So I'm collecting some data right now. I found uh, this little data trove on this planet. Um, there's one more over here. Basically what you can get from these things are like uh, the navigation data. Uh, I was just exploring this this planet and I was um, came across that. Uh, we still have a few more creatures to find on this planet. I'm not sure where to find them. Or I did adopt one of the um, these things here. They're kind of cute. Um, not sure what they are, but uh, they have like little crystals and stuff on their backs. Well, some of them do. I'm not sure if that's a different one. No, that's the same one. I adopted one with the crystals, so. But I was just scanning some stuff, trying to see if we can't find all the uh, plants. Well, some some of the plants at least. But I need to get back to the ship. Um. Actually, is there... We really need one of those upgrades for the um, freighter. Might try to find some starships or freighters that carry the parts because I'm too lazy to figure out where all the pieces are. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about uh, creatures on this planet. We got, I think, some of them. But uh, let's see here. Let's... Go ahead and charge that up. And we'll go to the other side of the planet where it's uh, bright and maybe we'll be able to see something from there um, for creatures that are not during the night. We have six flying and underground rare. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to need to find a place in the cave and most likely somewhere bright as well because it's probably a daytime creature. Well, at least for the bird. So let's go over towards the suns and that will make it a little bit easier to see where we need to go from there. pop down again and then we'll see if we can't find a place with a cave and hopefully we'll be able to locate that creature it's only one rare cave creature so it shouldn't be too too hard to find but again it's it seems like it's on a um, kind of like a scale like a percentage so it could be rare it could be easy to find it's hard to tell so all right, so we're gonna land over here, I think. Right. I was going to go uh, raid a freighter and then I realized I still have quite a bit of those distress signal uh, charts. So we have, uh, I had just used one so we have like a, 10 left and then we got more navigation data so we'll be able to locate some, hopefully some freighters. I did find one uh, thing that we just got was over here. Uh, we'll have to... It's only 19 
seconds away. It's not too far. So we'll check this out, and maybe if we're lucky, then... Maybe if we're lucky, then we will, um... Get a, um... Couple modules that we can use. You know, I'm just gonna take these guys on. It shouldn't be too hard of an issue. We got pretty good, um... Weapons. Okay, I'm not sure how many there's gonna be. I think just two. I really wish you could actually, um, get, like, when they, they crash, I wish they would actually crash on the land, and you could claim their ships, or at least parts of it. That would be pretty cool. Alright, so let's go over to this crash freighter, and then we'll, um, explore that. Okay, so where's the landing site? There it is. I have to watch out for those um, mushrooms. They're really, um, they get in the way. <laughs> All right, so let's go here. We'll talk to that thing. And then, oh, let's see here. All right. Huh, all right. Uh, the stars, 16 of them now. <laughs> They're not stars. <laughs> I Even I know that. Alright. Let's uh, go ahead and... Our energy just went down. We're going to have to charge that up. And we have 100% on the um, radioactive one, so we should be able to get in there quite easily. Now, sometimes these give out the parts that we need to upgrade or... Um, what do you call it? Our freighter. So I'm hoping that we'll find parts for that. Okay, we didn't get one from there. Okay, sometimes we can... Alright, so I didn't exactly get what I wanted from the, the uh, crash traders. We didn't actually get any of the uh, parts that we needed for the tech, but um, they're pretty rare to obtain anyways. Uh, we can sometimes raid 
other freighters for them uh, if we get lucky though we get rep points taken away if we do that so uh, we still have quite a bit of um, planetary charts that we can do and I did get a whole bunch of navigation data today and the distress beacon ones only require one um, navigation data so we can probably buy a few of those and stock up um, but we did get uh, quite a bit of um, the salvage data for uh, unlocking things we're going to need to do that f in probably next episode and I've got a warp core for our freighter as well so we'll be going back there today and um, next episode what we'll do is we'll try to um, maybe uh, discover another planet and I didn't have any luck with the um, underground creature on this planet unfortunately I, I found a pretty big cave and it wasn't possible to actually locate it so I'm just gonna not worry about it but uh, outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out